yeah hello and welcome back to my new course over here and in this course we'll be learning about the flutter and the local storage using a sqlite and a drift package so let us see what we will be building up in this application so here you can see we have a two device over here one is on the android and also on the ios the ui looks same over here uh, there is no difference over here because we'll be using a material ui so uh, the same application will be using a material app and it will look uh, similar on both of the device so here you can see that we have a small button navigation bar on the both of the ios and the android as well as uh, we have some uh, the floating action button so if you click on it you will see that you have a form to add and you have option to save you have a date picker where you can select a different date of birth and you also have um, the the button to the checkbox to active or inactive the employee and also you can just go and edit it you have option to delete it and you have a same option on the both of the device so android s and the ios side you can add an address right so what we will be learning on this course is about the flutter and the local storage and we'll be using a sqlite and the drift package very heavily and we'll be learning much of the stuff that is required for your real application development like how to create a table a database how to create a relationship how to do a table migration how to do a database migration because in the real app the application you need all of those stuff you are not stick with just one table and when you update your app you need to upgrade your database version you may change your uh, database column you may add a new table so all of those stuff that we will be learning in this lecture and as well as in this full course you can find this course in the udemy there is a free version you can check for the flutter sqlite database one and the the flutter sqlite database two so you can also see that what we will be learning over here flutter sqlite drift and the state management which is really important because whenever you are building a complex application we need to have some sort of state management otherwise it will be really difficult to build your application so for that we will be using a flutter a provider package you can see i have mentioned over here as a provider package and also there is a full paid version of this course if you like the the database version one and the two of this course you can also sign up for my uh, paid version of this course where we'll be learning a lot more stuff about all of the table database and migration and all of those stuff and the uh, free version of course i cannot upload more than a two hours of the length that's why the the course has been split to the the uh, two part over here part one and the part two uh, which I can upload at least a uh, four hour of the course and over here in the the full length of the course you can see it has around the uh, seven hours of this course and I hope you will enjoy and like this course and you can just sign up for the free course first and if you like it then you can go for the paid version so I hope to see you in the next lecture till then have a great day